welcome back to another video guys thank you guys for joining me your boy tony for another banger i'm very excited to have you guys with me here today today is a great day um at my favorite spot let me go ahead and show you guys currently at my favorite place in the world Kirby park vibing out about to give you guys this review right now let's get into it guys i'm excited so today's gonna be a little bit different yes i'm inside uh my 250z this is my 2007 nissan 350z fully gutted fully stripped in the bag just a little bit messy right now don't mind that um i'm currently gearing up for a track that we got going on that should be the day of this video dropping should be wednesday right today's wednesday if i did that on time sheesh your boy is on it today anyways like I wanted to mention, uh, we do have a track day and I wanted to bring you guys a little bit of a different kind of video. Uh, I know we always talk about car parts and whatnot and installing and mods and whatnot, but this is gonna be some, some of, one of the times that I do mods for myself as a driver. So with that being said, I got a box here for us today. All right, now that we got this, let's crack it open. first box is typically nothing anyways we got a nice sparkle box here with us today you guys can see that italian design sparkle box with here us today and if you guys don't know my seats are sparkle my harnesses are also sparkle i'll be rocking them stuff they should just sponsor your boy please sparkle i would really appreciate it i really i really rock your stuff man the loyalty is already there you know let's go ahead and crack this thing up man i'm excited to show you guys what's in here this is my helmet guys uh for the track i've had other helmets before and they were all kind of trash i had like uh one, when i was into um riding pocket bikes when i was like seven uh i had a helmet but it was a really loose fitting one that was really really heavy and was really kind of annoying to use i'm not gonna lie that one got trashed when it was in storage it just completely just destroyed and there was a bunch of gross stuff in it just not gonna work and they had like some dirt bike helmets that I don't know where the heck they went. I had some dirt bike helmets, but they're obviously different. You can't use a dirt bike helmet like if you're going to use it for the track. So with that being said, I copped a new helmet. This is an investment because we are tuned tuners and I do plan to be on the track a lot more. That's why I bought this as an investment. But I want you guys to know that I got this helmet for the low. I got it at redline360.com. Um, super affordable, man. It was only like $109. And I got it with a coupon. I'm going to put the whatever coupon code I used in case it still works for you guys. You guys want to cop something like this? This is a this is a casco. You guys kind of fell on me right there, but you guys are good now. You guys can see me. You good, bud? You good? You good? You, you 100? You solid? Got to make sure my people solid, man. Anyways, this is a casco. Obviously, Club X1 TG. I don't know what any of that means. It's an extra large. It's a black uh, full face helmet. Uh, let's just crack this open already, man. I'm more excited to show you guys. The box is cool though, I'm not even lying. Sparkle packages and stuff, pretty solid, man. I do say so myself. All right, let's box this thing open. This is what you really buy Sparkle products for, the packaging, man, look at this. Look at that bag, bro, Sparkle helmet. Sheesh, I'm assuming it's on that side too, right? Yeah, okay, okay. All right, we got it. Uh, let me make some room here. So this is the helmet guys. I hope you guys can see that. Let me see. This is the helmet. Um cool bag though by the way. Protective case, you know, because we're gonna be taking this hopefully to a lot of places. So gotta have that ready. Right here we have the strap. Take it off. Undo it. And then out out should come the helmet, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me I gotta show you guys like this. Watch. Look at this, guys. Look at this thing. The sparkle. The sparkle, my G. With the bag on it. Are right, you guys ready? You guys ready? How should I reveal this to you guys? Like this? Like this? Is this cool? Alright, I got you guys. Something pretty tight. Alright, you guys see that? Are you guys seeing this? This is a DOT approved helmet, by the way, certified. So you guys can use this for the track. Like I told you guys, I got this on redline.com. It's DOT compliant, adjustable airflow intake vents, top and the bottom in the front. Uh, what else we got? Easy to use lever actuated chin strap buckle. The one on the bottom, that's just strap. And the carbon polycarbonate shield is pretty cool. I like how they expose kind of how the mechanics work in it. So you guys can see it. 
me show you guys. So yeah, let me show you, show you guys the mechanic, the mechanics of it. I don't know if you guys are getting an accurate video of this of the mechanics, but they were, they're pretty cool. You can see it all. I love it. It's pretty cool, man. There's like a white option, but I got the black because obviously matte looks freaking fire. Um, should I put it on or what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I was waiting. I already opened it because I wanted to make sure it fit me. The sizing chart that Redline 360 has on their website is pretty accurate. I ordered this exactly to that size and it, and it fits. We're about to find out actually if it fits pretty perfectly, but let's take off uh, this thing right here. This sticker right here. I don't want to take it off. Watch this thing. Let's see what it says. Though. Let's see what it says. After using the helmet with the soft cloth, lightly wipe off any grime. Finally, wipe it dry with the lint free cloth. Pretty straightforward. Just clean it. Just keep it clean. Just don't have a dirty helmet. You know, pretty, pretty simple stuff. Pretty basic. Um, extra clear trans windshield. Extra clear windshield. I don't know what this says. L-N-T-E-R window stand. I don't know what the heck this is. And then anti-scratch, which is a new one for me because my old one was pretty scratched up. I never actually knew they made these in like uh, anti-scratch. But um, let's take this out and see what it looks like, man. You guys ready for this? I can't even get like my nail under there and stuff. You ready? You guys are looking at this. I'm not even looking at it. Ooh, fire or what, guys? Is that just not fire? Sheesh. Sheesh. This thing is clean. Look at it from the bottom, man. This thing is clean. <sighs> it smells like new shoes, guys. Love the way that smells. I am an extra large. Um, for those of you guys that are wondering, I got a big dome, big hair. It's got like a chin strap too. It's cool. I'm gonna put it on, guys. Let me see. Let me see what I look like in it. You guys ready for this or what? Let's see what's up? Sheesh. Do I look like a pro or what? No, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Do I look like a pro yet or what? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I don't know how pros do this, man. It's a lot of like uh, work, but I like I like the way it fits. It hugs my neck, my like my right here area pretty well. I hope you guys can hear me. The chin strap is like pretty spot on where I need it to be. My cheeks are like uh, it doesn't feel loose at all, man. It's like pretty. It feels like when I played football again, to be honest. It's pretty comfortable actually. It doesn't hurt me anywhere. It feels really light when I turn and whatnot. It feels good. It feels really good to be honest. Uh, oh, I look clean though. Yes, sir. The vents right here. What's up, vent you got right there? And then the other vent opens up from the inside, is what I'm noticing. It opens up from right here. It's got like a rubber trim thing right here. It's pretty cool. It has like a very satisfying lock to it because this is like just rolling and has a lock to it. This has got to be one of my favorite investments by far. You know, this is just so cool. Only question I have for myself, honestly, is where are we going to put the tune tune sticker at? I got one right here. But where are we going to put it? This has, it has like an odd shape to it. So like I, it would have to be offset like that, but obviously we don't want it to this side because no one sees you like this. We want it right here. You know what I'm saying? Like right here. I want it right here, but I'm thinking I'm just going to risk it and use it like this and uh, just kind of like deal with this aspect of the turn, which is not a big deal, but you will know. You will see it. You know what I'm saying? The only other option was to have it in the back, but I'm like, dude, no one's going to see it on the back, you know? So I think we're going to do it on the side uh, and you guys are going to watch, you know? This sticker has been sitting in the sun for a while, so the trick that I learned from when stuff has been sitting in the in the sun for a while is this watch. Lift it up. And then lay, lay it back down, man. Lay it back down, it should go down a lot smoother this time, you know? There we go. By the way, if you guys are trying to copy your own supporter decals from Tuntunas, they add horsepower, guaranteed. Um, 
hit me up on IG, man. I'm literally doing this just for the vlog, man. Just for the vlog. I'm not even ready for it to go right there, but shit. You know? How far do I want it to come forward? I don't even know. I already started putting it down. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I already might have messed that one up. Let's see if I can fix it a little bit at least. Yeah, my spacing could have been a lot better with this, but it's cool. I don't think anybody's going to be mad. Get out your handy dandy credit card that you use to pay with your car parts. Let's see. It's coming off, boys. We already marked our territory, you know? You guys can see that? Probably like that for you guys. I got you. I got you. It honestly doesn't look that bad the way it like leans on it. Thought it was gonna look a lot more aggressive, but it looks pretty good though. Not a lie. Oh crazy. Let me know what you guys think though. Let me know you guys' thoughts on the helmet, where I put the sticker. Let me know what kind of helmet you guys use. Let me know something, man. Like the vents are pretty dope, even on top. It looks pretty aggressive, man. I didn't like I was gonna get like the race equip ones, but I was like, Sparkle, come on, baby. Like, you know? They're gonna sponsor me eventually, but I don't know why they're just, we're waiting. We're, it's, it's I'm just playing the waiting game, man, because they're gonna sponsor me eventually, you know. Anyways, it looks dope. What do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? Tun Tuna's Sparkle collab helmet. We need to make one. It looks dope, man. Let me see if I like it. Actually, I think I like it. I like it. It looks pretty good. Maybe I could have cut them and angled them differently, but I think it looks fine like that. Literally right smack on the side of it, perfectly in the middle, to be honest. I think it's fine. It'll serve its purpose, you know? Its purpose, which is to people to trip out people and be like, why is it why is it tune tuners? Like why why tune tuners? Why not? But uh, it honestly doesn't weigh anything. The padding is pretty comfortable. Uh, you can take the padding out to wash it. I I read that on their website. You can also take that out. I personally don't know how, so I'm not uh, bothered to tell you guys how, because I don't know. We will cross that bridge when we get to it. How about that? Track day prep. Because you didn't have one for the track, man. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, man. I think this is a great start off helmet if you're going to barely get into it like I am. Nothing too expensive, but it looks fantastic and looks great on me. I'm sure it's going to look good on you as well. Um, it, it has a perfect spot for you to tune his decal as well. I don't see why you wouldn't want to cop one. This is pretty dope, man. I'm not gonna lie. This is a badass helmet. It honestly doesn't weigh anything. Like it looks, if, like it, it literally doesn't feel like it weighs anything. Which I should not be surprised because Sparkle is the lead leader. You know, for for a reason. Come on, this is Sparkle, man. This is the real deal, man. This isn't like your your cheap eBay helmet. You know, this is this is it's not your top tier because I know Sparkle makes some really badass helmets that are really expensive. But this is a this is a pretty good uh this is a top tier entry level helmet i would say it cost me 109 on their website with a discount code that's right here as well it's not my discount code i just found it i'm very satisfied with like my full sparkle interior you know what i'm saying like i this was honestly like always a goal when i was a kid like uh seeing like badass cars like cruise the street and stuff and then once i started watching fast and the furious i was like dude i want sparkle everything sparkles cool sparkles it man and it and i'm like you know it's coming together, man. It's coming together. I am at the track today. So the video of the actual helmet would probably be dropping on Saturday. So be on the lookout for the actual track day. we got a lot of uh, for that dope video that's going to come out. Uh, follow us on Toon Tuners on IG if you guys want to see some previews of the run and stuff and whatnot from the track day. So um, other than that, thank you guys for joining me here today. I'm, I'm hyped for the track day. I really wanted to make a short kind of cool video unboxing this. It was kind of dope cool experience maybe we should do more stuff like this in the future let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think let me know where you start i try to say that at the same time um hope you guys are taking care of you guys yourself remember to always pursue and reach your goals it took me years to do this and i'm not even done so uh just keep pushing man keep pushing keep grinding keep having something to motivate you to to want to strive for you know don't just get comfortable don't just don't just be okay with what you have man always always try to go for better always try to do your best always you deserve it you know what I'm saying? You deserve it. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys are also excited for the track day video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notifications bell so you guys can get notified when that video will be dropping at the end of this week. I'm your boy Tony. 
and I've been blessed here to be with you today to spread this good energy, good vibes, and uh, the Kirby vibes. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to finally get on the track. It's gonna be my first time ever. Um, not on the track, but at, not at the track, but on the actual track, like driving. It's gonna be my first time, so I'm excited. It's a big step for me. I'm finally going legit, man. Um, this is the start of something great. You know what I'm saying? This is where Tuntunas takes off, and I'm saying that because I mean it, you know? Dude, what the heck? No. No. No way. All right, all right. Check this out. So I'm like just sitting here and stuff, playing with my helmet and stuff while I'm talking to you guys, and I just realized these vents, they never really like sat flush with the helmet. I would always like play with them and like, why isn't it touching? You know what I'm saying? Like, why, why isn't it like not perfect? And I pushed it back. Look, look, look. Look at this. Look at this. What? That's how you adjust the vents, G. Look, 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 look. It has like two settings. One, two. Dude, that's clean. Dude. Anyways, I've enjoyed our time here today. I uh, hope you guys did too. I hope you guys also have an amazing, blessed day. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.